Let's move on to durability and fabrication. And now I'm really going to challenge Scott. So I want to hear about how you are addressing assembly of these units and concerns that might come up around, well, what happens if um, that hermetic seal fails? Or what happens if we don't have a durable perimeter edge seal? Um, how long is that unit going to last? And how are these units being assembled today to mitigate that risk? I mean, that, that's that's the uh, $10,000 question because so when you look back historically, what I mentioned before, people used high temperature sealing glasses, which, you know, detempered the glass. OK, so as you lower the melting point of these perimeter seal materials, you know, not you become more susceptible to moisture, vapor transmission water migration through the seal. Uh, the density of the seals goes down in grams per centimeter cubed. And so as the density drops, the the cohesive strength of it drops. So that's the biggest challenge is you've got to lower the melting point so that you can, you know, not detemper the glass, but then you've got to maintain this herm herm hermeticity. And then you've also got to maintain moisture um, resistance and then also mechanical durability. OK, so that's where we put all our effort for three and a half years was on that perimeter seal, because if you can't solve that problem, then, you you know, then you're never going to get to a 20 year. And, so, and just, so thinking about how do you think about life cycle testing or sort of accelerated weathering testing just to ensure the effectiveness? Yeah, so this is we have a, a very large lab with a lot of environmental chambers. OK, and I'll give you an example. So like for thermal cycling in a traditional IG 2188, 2189 and 2190, the ASTM standards, you cycle between minus 30 C and depending upon your level, 65 C. OK, well, what we do is we cycle from minus 70 C to plus 130 C. OK, and we do it in four hours. Okay, so we're doing a bigger range and we're doing it two to three times faster than the test standard. Okay, and then we do it for an extended duration. Okay, and then what we've done a lot of is combinatorial testing where we actually soak our entire unit in 65 CDI water for 10 days, take it out put it in this minus 60, minus 70 to 130 thermal cycling, take it out, same unit, we put it in 85C, 85% humidity. And then we take it out and we do pl plus and minus 90 degrees C asymmetric thermal shock, where the inside of the chamber is minus 70, the outside is 20C, and then we'll take the inside of the chamber up to 110 degrees C, and then the outside is 20. So like that's a, a, a test regimen for us.